What's going on YouTube, Tass here, bringing you my FIFA 18 Team of the Year video, and today guys, I'm going to give you a little something untraditional. Don't know if that's a word, think it is, but the opposite of traditional. I'm going to give you guys two Team of the Years. First off, we're going to start off with a Team of the Year that is purely built off each player in each position or in their categories of defender, midfielder, goalkeeper, uh, forwards. Um, purely off a performance basis in the calendar year or the calendar of, you know, the time frame that counts towards this year's team of the year. So that's personally just basically off my own knowledge and it'll be interesting to see if you guys agree with me. And then you're going to say, your first question is going to be like, Tass, what other logic are you going to go off? I'm, there is another logic. There is a selfish logic, not just for me, but for everybody watching this video that loves FIFA 18 and loves the game mode Ultimate Team. This will differ than maybe just players who have performed really good because there are certain players that maybe from a performance value don't edge one of their competitors but we would prefer them, um, or I, I think we, well, I know I would, I'm assuming all of us would, prefer them in the FIFA 18 Team of the Year. But before I get into all that guys, I'm sure you guys saw the hoopla and everything of how it's working so let me explain to you guys if you don't know how it's working. Um, basically EA announced um, Yesterday, there are 55 nominees from like all the categories combined, from goalkeepers to forwards, etc. 55 nominees, and obviously 11 of the 55 will make the team of the year. An X percentage, I believe 40%, are done through like um, they've given votes to like the community um, in a certain way, YouTubers and stuff like that. Um, and they got, they get got, or some YouTubers at least got given like some ballot box, and it looked pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite salty that I didn't get uh, a valid personal vote but hopefully next year um so basically uh i didn't get a vote but i want to sit here with you guys and talk to you about my ideas of these two team leaders and i'm sure you guys are going to ask the question straight away why did you not get one um if some of these other people that we've seen have got one i don't know how it worked guys but all i do know is from a uh, from a pro player perspective, no pro player got one. So I know your question is going to be, did Gorilla get one? Uh, did Harry get one, for example? Pros that do YouTube? No. Um, not that I know of any pro got one, so whatever the reasoning is behind that, there is a reason. But it's okay. We're not here for that. We're here to drop some knowledge. Or I'm trying to drop some knowledge on you guys. And then I'm trying to get some feedback and see what you guys think of my, um, of my situation. So basically, let me explain to you guys how it works. If you haven't seen... Uh, the 55 nominees, get them up right now because I'm not going to have them on the screen. So make sure you get the 55 nominees up on your screen. First of all, we're going to go with a team that is selfishly built for FIFA 18. Actually, we're going to... No, no, no. Actually, screw that. Screw that. Screw that. We're going to go with the team that is built purely from a performance basis and, you know, the time frame that players, you know, um, eligible to be in this team of the year. So um, this is kind of just personal knowledge or personal knowledge combined with an opinion, and I'm going to go. But I'm going to go purely results here, and I'm going to be as fair as possible. So make sure you've got the 55 nominees up on your screen. I'm going to make sure I've got them up right now. So give me a second. But we're going to start off anyway because I already know who the first man is. Um, we got a guy here, guys. Right? We got some guy. Um, there's a question. I've, I've got a question that I have to concede to all you guys. Have we got someone here that is overtaking Neuer as the best goalkeeper in the world? Because I'm sorry, I don't want to sound blasphemous, but I've, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly but surely conceding we have a new King of the Throne, best goalkeeper in the world, David De Gea. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you agree, if you think that's disrespectful towards Neuer's entire legacy, I would understand it. Trust me, but I'm seeing this guy do some ridiculous stuff. So, De Gea is in the team of the year for me. And now moving across. So, the rule set. For example, in the front three, it doesn't have to be a right winger or right forward and a striker and a left wing. It could be two left wingers and a strike or whatever. And it could be two right backs and two centre backs or three centre backs and a left back or whatever. So, it's just purely from a combination of um, whatever you personally would agree. So, I'm going to go. I'm just going to get the nominees up on my screen. Just to make sure. So, this is a team purely based off results. Purely from a result perspective, I'm going to go off here. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to stay traditional. I'm going to do left back and a right back and two centre backs. So I'm going to stay traditional. We'll go straight in. Um, David De Gea next to him. This is purely result basis. 
We're gonna go with... Yeah, we'll go with the obvious one. We're gonna go with Sergio Ramos. This guy... I, I mean, what is there? What is there really to talk about? The guy has ice in his veins. Um, what is going on? Okay. Never mind. I'm just not reading my screen properly. So, Sergio Ramos in... Um, nothing really to say. Ice in his veins. Incredible. Incredible again for Real Madrid. Nothing to really talk about. And here, partner. His partner, I'm going to go with Benucci. Um, from the football that I've watched, which has been quite a lot, I would say he, this man has impressed me a lot. Unfortunately for, you know, his national side, it didn't really go to plan, did it? But Italy, just as a nation, were going through some things, clearly, as you could tell. But Leonardo Benucci for Juventus stuck the hell out. For me. So, we're going to go Benucci. And now, fullbacks. So, right back, I have a problem. I'm not too sure. So, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go with the man that I do know who should get one. And that is my man, Marcelo. I say my man because I'm a big fan of this guy. The way he plays the fullback position. A modern-day Roberto Carlos. But in a different way. Not so much in a, in a I'm going to just dominate you and blitz past you. In a very swaggery way. Like, this man... He's special. So we're going to go Marcelo back-to-back -back team years, or is it even more than that? I don't know. But we're going to go Marcelo. I know Sandro was in for a shout. Don't worry. I know Sandro was in for a shout. But personally, I'm going to stick with Marcelo. Um, and moving on to right back. Right. So I wanted to stay traditional. Let me make sure I'm recording. I am recording. <sighs> so I'm looking here. I'm sure you guys are looking at, you know, the nominees on your screen. We could go with anyone. We could go with another centre-back. But I want to stay traditional and go with the right backs. So we've got Danny Alves, Walker, Carvajal, and Valencia. And Kimmich. Apologies. Apologies. Um, and I've missed out on Alaba left back, but I think Marcelo has edged him. But. For me personally, it's between Walker and Valencia. Ugh. See, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to switch up. I didn't know I was going to do this. I didn't know I was going to pick him. But I'm going to pick him. I'm going to pick him. I'm going to go with Kyle Walker. This is purely result performance basis. I'm going to go with Kyle Walker as the best right back of the year. He deserves it, in my opinion. It was between him and Valencia, personally, for me. Not saying the rest didn't have a shout. Kimmich was outstanding. Um, and I know you guys, some of you guys are going to comment below, but let me move on because this video will literally take half an hour if I don't move on. So they are my fullbacks. Now moving on to sentiments. So we can pick three sentiments out of the list of Casemiro, Kante, Verratti, Nangolan, Cruz, Modric, Thiago, Iniesta, Isco, De Bruyne, Eriksen, Dybala, Ali, Robin for some reasons in sentiment, and Forsberg. Um, I think it's pretty obvious for me. This is purely result basis. So let's not have a short memory, right? Let's not be that narrow-minded community that doesn't remember what this man was doing. So N'Golo Kante is straight in, nothing to talk about. One of his partners is going to be this man, um, Raja. Yep, simple. Um, nothing to talk about. Absolute, absolute tank. And ironically, not built physically from a height perspective like a tank, but he's a tank. Um, so we got them two, and then I'm going to go with... Again, this is, remember, just a result perspective. So we've got... Ooh. Okay. I'm going to go with... Oh, he deserves it as well, you know. Okay. I'm going to be a bit of a... As I said, let's not forget the past. But let's remember the present. So we're going to go with... Kevin De Bruyne. I'm going to give it to KDB. Um... Nothing, I mean, I don't really need to compliment him, do I? We all see what he's doing. So I don't need to really say much about Kevin De Bruyne. But let's move on to the front three. Front three, I'm going to keep traditional. Actually, no, I'm not. Uh, what am I on about? I'm literally going to pick the three that deserve it. So here's the moment where my, 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 my realness as an Arsenal fan kicks in. But don't worry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a fraud. Okay. So. I think we're going to put the two in that are very obvious. There's no point talking about them. We're going to put in Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, and we're going to put in Lionel Messi. Right? It's, it's literally very simple. Um, I don't need to talk too much about them. The two best players in the world still. 100%. And people are pushing them. They're coming. They're coming. And their age is going. So, you know. It's only going to be a matter of time before things flip. But still, for like the 10th year in the row, the two best players in the world. 
and it's between for me it's between Mbappe Neymar and Harry Kane yes I said Harry Kane I'm gonna give him like the, the, the one of the three nominees in this and I'm gonna go with we're gonna switch it up Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Uh, you know what? This guy's been ridiculous. I'm sorry. This guy, guys, right? This guy... I was going to go with Neymar, right? I was going to go with Neymar. And because, don't be a prisoner in the moment, because if you're going to be a prisoner in the moment, you're going to be shouting Harry Kane to me right now. I've given him a nominee for top three. He's competing with Neymar and Mbappe. I do not think he's been better than them. He has shattered that record that he literally just shattered. But remember, it's a whole year. And I'm not saying he wasn't great or at this level five, six months ago, Harry Kane. Or, like, towards the middle part of last season, but, I mean, Mbappe, the, the, the guy, I was born in 1994, this guy's born in 1990 freaking 8, and he's, he's a future Ballon d'Or winner, mark my words, I don't care if Neymar carries on his greatness, Mbappe, future Ballon d'Or winner, nothing else to say, I'm going to put Mbappe in, so that for me, is the best 11 from the players that deserve it, in my opinion, who could you switch around, you could switch around Walker, in my opinion, I wouldn't switch around the two centre backs. The Marcelo, you could switch around for Sandro. Nangolan, I don't think switchable. Kante, I don't think switchable. De Bruyne is maybe switchable for Modric, but I wouldn't personally. Messi, Ronaldo, not switchable. Mbappe is definitely switchable for a Neymar. If you want to be a home, uh, a home shower, you can go with Harry Kane. Um, but I like the look of that team. I really think Mbappe deserves it, man. For his age and everything combined. I know you don't. I know we don't cheat, and just because someone's younger, we give them more credit than if someone else has performed really good, but how do you not take into consideration the man is 19 years of age? At that point, he was probably 18 slash 19. This, I mean, this guy is ridiculous. I'm, I'm pressing buttons, I don't even know. This guy's ridiculous. So, let me make sure we're recording. We are still recording. We're going to move on to the other team here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the players out. So, these are the players that I'm switching out. I'm literally going to switch them out. And this is purely, this is selfish for all of us. I believe all of you guys should agree with me um, on the choices I'm going to make. This is purely selfish from a FIFA 18 Ultimate Team player's point of view. So the only players that have survived are obviously the Messi, Ronaldo, Nainggolan has survived, Ramos, Marcelo. I may have made a mistake. I'm probably going to put in someone that I've already had in, but... Anyway, let's move all the way back. So I'm going to stay traditional. We're going to go with another centre back. And remember, this is purely being selfish towards FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. And this man, I'm going to explain every single pick um, from the perspective of why. So David Luiz, if you don't know, if you didn't know, this man got a Team of the Season card, I'm pretty sure, last year. Yes, he did. And he was an absolute joke. So my perspective is, if I'm speaking purely selfish from a fuck point of view. This guy and Ramos are the two we want. Benucci isn't going to cut it. Like, David Luiz would be a better option for us um, with the chemistries as well, 100%. Ramos, right? This guy was one of the main integral reasons to why I won Paris. And I dropped him, moving forward for the majority of the rest of the year. Him and Marcelo, I dropped. I regret it. They were two ballers, and it's sort of like, you know when you th when you know when you don't appreciate what you had, but then you realise when you kind of like just, I don't know, get rid of them or something. Um, so that's kind of what I realised with them too. David De Gea, um, I think he just wins. Like, I just think he deserves it. And even if I'm trying to be selfish, I can't pick one of the other nominees over David De Gea from what I've seen on the screen. So, right back. Again, selfish. This is a man I've had in my team personally recently, and I don't think he's moving. He's a tank. And I know a lot of you guys are saying Taswan using the Informed Valencia. If I'm going to stick by him long term, I will invest in the Informed Valencia. But for now, this one's fine. I mean, he's been unbelievable for Man United as well. It's not even maybe that selfish for me just saying from a fat 18 point of view. He probably deserves it anyway. The guy has been a monster. Um, my favourite right back. I love that strength combined with pace. You can't... There's nothing better than that. So we'll go with Valencia. And uh, right, nine Golan, what is there to say? Um... I'm sure you guys saw his Team of the Season card last year. Ridiculous. And who we're going to partner with him? Right. This could be an issue. We could be having some severe issues here. So, there was something there. Um, so, 
I think I've took someone out that I want in still. Okay, so selfish, right? We're thinking purely selfish. From a FOT18 point of view, if we already have Vieira, we don't really need another CDM, right? Hunnick could even play with Vieira. Um, and obviously, before you say Tass, we don't all have these amount of coins. I mean, if you want nine golems and Kantes anyway and all these, you need like two million coins, which is basically what Vieira is. So, um, I'm thinking like at the high end of a team. So, we're going to go with a bit of swagger in midfield. Unfortunately, uh, Pogba is not a nominee. Otherwise, I would be going with Pogba. Um, but Modric is a nominee. His team of the year card could look special. He had one last year. I didn't use him. He was a shout. But this year, I think he's got a legitimate shout because he's got extreme help from Vieira and Hullet. And he could slot in and be like that sort of just that, just that guy who's just playing with that, with that looseness in his play. Just sort of the guy who doesn't have the rules of always getting back and having to do the dirty stuff. He could just do them dirty passes and get you them goals. So we go Modric, nine golden, and Kante. I can see the selfish reasons for Kante, and have I made a mistake here? Um, oh god. So we don't, in my opinion, we don't need... Oh god. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, yeah, I did delete someone out there. I'm gonna put De Bruyne in. So again, this is purely selfish. Another guy with swagger. Now the issue, I'm, I'm being selfish, but Percy, I probably wouldn't get him um, if he got one. So it's kind of fraudulent me saying that. And that is because his defending, look at it, 45 already. How disrespectful is that? Like, what is Modric's defending? 72. I don't know what EA are doing, but they need to start watching a bit more of KDB. And they deleted his week for, they need to start watching a bit more of KDB. Because this guy deserves his five-star week for back. And he deserves a hell of a lot more than 45 defending. That is disrespectful. Um, but them three are going to be mine. And then here. Right. Purely selfish. Ronaldo's a left winger. Messi's a right winger. So then we need chemistry. From a 18 player's point of view. And we're going to go with the man who was one of the best cards, if not the best card, last year. Team of the year, Luis Suarez. Oh my god. That would be distress. That would be disgusting. Him, Ronaldo, R9. Oh my god, I'm, I'm losing my mind already. Um, there's not really much to talk about. If you watched competitive FIFA last year, to any degree, everybody had Team Lee Suarez in their team. Uh, the best finesse shot on the game. Messi probably rivals it. But this man, overall, he'll have like 94 pace as well. Like 90, probably this year, like 93. Um, 94, I mean. Yeah, 99 shot, 95 dribble, I mean, 90 plus physical, I mean, come on! That is disgusting. But there we go, guys. They are my two team of the years. One is purely result-based. This one is not result-based, like, real-life-based. This is purely a selfish task. A selfish task thinking from a general FUT18 player's wish list. The other one, in my opinion was a result or performance based. Um, so leave a comment below what you think of that. Um, this video's dragged on for ages. Has it? Holy crap, yes it has. So, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and yeah, uh, leave a comment below what you think of the team, the year and everything, all the hype. It's coming out Monday, 15th January, but until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Rewards are coming out in a couple days. Um, yeah.